Welcome to Lymphedema Podcast. I'm Betty Westbrook, a certified lymphedema therapist and the voice behind Lymphedema Podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to provide answers and explanations for people affected by the lymphatic disease, lymphedema. This podcast is for patients, family members, medical professionals, and anyone interested in lymphedema. Each month, I will discuss a new topic related to this disease to help you learn more and navigate better your journey ahead. Between shows, you can catch me on IGTV or Instagram TV, as well as monthly live Q&A sessions. I'm so passionate about teaching others about lymphedema that I created this podcast just for you. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're ready to learn something new today. Disclaimer. As a certified lymphedema therapist, all information provided is based on my professional experiences and education. I recommend that anyone who feels they have lymphedema or have been medically diagnosed with lymphedema seek in-person medical treatment from a certified lymphedema therapist. Welcome back to Lymphedema Podcast. Every minute of every day, you are thinking about your lymphedema. Will walking two blocks at the farmer's market cause a flare-up? Will my bandages fall or loosen while I'm cleaning at the house? Do I really have to take off this compression thigh high before I go to sleep? Lymphedema management can be consuming, but there is a way to take out some of that stress. The MediUSA Reduction Kit is a Velcro garment that can be worn day and night and has adjustable Velcro straps to tighten or loosen as needed. I'm so excited to introduce today's guest. Christopher Miles is the Senior Manager for Clinical Services at MediUSA. He's trained as an occupational therapist and is certified in both lymphedema and wound care. He has been working with patients to assist in managing chronic edema for over 18 years, and currently his role is managing a team of clinical educators for MediUSA and also completing clinical education to direct hospital systems, national and international conferences. Hi, Christopher. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much, Betty. I'm excited to to join your podcast. I am so excited to talk to you about the reduction kit. So many of my patients in the clinic want a single garment that can do it all. Is the reduction kit their answer? You know, Betty, I wish that there was a magic pill for lymphedema. I've been working in lymphedema for a long time, and I think everyone's been hunting for that. I wish I could say the reduction kit will do everything. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that it can, but it certainly can do a lot. It's a phenomenal bandage replacement system. So, can you tell us how the product came to be and what inspired it? Absolutely, I would love to, and it's always a great story to share. So, the reduction kit is part of the Circade product line. Uh, the Circade product line has been around for over 50 years. In the way it was inspired, it was actually invented by a, um, an individual who was trying to find a solution to help his wife who suffered from chronic lymphedema. And he came up with this idea when he was at the San Diego Zoo. He noticed that giraffes are very tall, yet for some reason they never have swelling in their very skinny legs. And the reason they don't have swelling in their legs is because their skin is inelastic. It won't stretch. It doesn't have the ability to give to excess pressure or fluid. So there's no swelling or edema. So with that concept, he wanted to create a garment that didn't stretch because up to that point, all compression garments had been made out of elastic that were very stretchy. So he designed the first inelastic product, actually a very crude um, product that he designed was actually out of leather belts. But over time, he designed and created the Circade line, which is the combination of an inelastic product with inner juxtaposed bands to allow patients to automatically adjust and apply their compression. Is that why the Medi mascot is a giraffe? Yes, you are absolutely right. So the giraffe is sort of our mascot for Circade. Uh, So Medi actually, so Circade started independently and it became part of the Medi family probably about six years ago when we brought it into our entire portfolio. And the Circade products um, inspired by the giraffe skin are all inelastic wrap products 
um, that can be utilized. Both the reduction kit that's utilized for decongestion when you're trying to reduce the amount of swelling, and then there's a whole host of Circaid products that are utilized once your swelling has fully resolved or at least plateaued as far as possible as going through therapy, and then they can be easily applied. They're, they're all a phenomenal compression or bandage replacement system. So this garment, how can it be effectively used day and night to reduce lymphedema volume? Ah, you bring up a great point. You bring up a great point because day and night is always confusing um, in regards to what you can use and what you can't use um, during the day and night. And I'm going to just take a step back um, just so that folks can understand the basic principles of compression. So compression is broken up into two different categories, one being elastic and one being inelastic. So an elastic garment, um, like a sock or anything that's sewn in a circle that's made with elastic stretchy fibers, is going to be squeezing all the time. It is always working uh, on your tissue to try, to try to decrease the amount of edema. Now, the reason you can't wear those products at night is because they're squeezing too much once you actually get up in the bed and you lie flat and you don't have the increased pressure in your limbs. So an elastic product is not safe to wear at night when your legs are up in bed. Now I'll pivot over to the inelastic product. An inelastic product, like short stretch bandages, which patients and therapists are very familiar with, or exactly like the Circade product, they have inelastic properties. So they're not always squeezing, but they provide a nice shell, I like to say, to the limb. And when folks are active and moving around and activating their muscles, that helps effectively decongest or pump the fluid out. So because they're not squeezing all the time, inelastic products like short stretch bandages and the circuit product are safe to be worn during the day and also at night. Who would you recommend this garment for? Um, and by that, I mean, are patients with wounds a candidate, upper extremity lymphedema, lower extremity lymphedema? Um, what variety of patients does this product serve? Ah, that's, that's, that's a great question. And I'm going to just, in, in regards to my prior comments when I was talking about short stretch bandages, in regards to the Circade Reduction Kit, it was made as a bandage replacement system. So whenever, if you're a clinician, when you're thinking about using an inelastic product in lymphedema, it's the brown bandages. In wound care, it would be a two, three, maybe a four layer wrap. A Circaid product can be an option at any point. So it's gonna have the same principles. So it's gonna work the same as a short stretch bandage or as a multi-layer wrap and it will provide you some additional benefits because it's an adjustable wrap. Um, so in regards to who is this appropriate for, anyone who you would want to use bandages for on any extremity or part of, or part of the body, the reduction kit can be a phenomenal option. Over the progression of the life of the reduction kit, there has been additional products that have been available. We cover the, the entire lower extremity, also with multiple different options for the foot, and then certainly for the arm and the hand as well. Most recently, what was really exciting last year that we launched for the Reduction Kit family is we launched um, a digit um, glove and toe cap. So typically when folks are using Reduction Kit, it's you have to result or rely on using bandages for wrapping toes and fingers, which can be very cumbersome and limiting. So last year we actually launched a new glove and toe cap that you can utilize. And then certainly for those folks that have more tissue or potentially even lobes on their lower extremity, we launched an additional accessory that can be used to manage those large sizes as well. Can the reduction kit be applied solo or is it necessary to have an extra person around to help get the garment on? Ah, great question. Once the garment is fit to the patient, it's very likely that the patient can don this themselves. 
Okay. The whole point of the reduction kit is to bring a level of independence to our lymphedema patients that struggle with managing their condition. As a lymphedema therapist, I always try to educate my patients in how to self-bandage with short stretch bandages, but with all the different layers and all the different foams and the wraps um, and all the different techniques, a lot of times they were overcome by managing and doing self-bandages on their own. So what's nice about the reduction kit, once it's fit to the patient, it goes on very easily. And if they're able to reach down and, and snug up the garment with all of the straps, it can bring a level of independence to managing through the decongestant stages with lymphedema for patients and what they're looking for. So essentially, after you're fitted with your CLT and you get the garment in, the CLT can help you, you know, get it on the first time, fit it for you, apply the Velcro pieces where needed and kind of show you how it works. And then after that, you're pretty much flying solo until you need it readjusted. Is that correct? You are absolutely correct, Betty. Yes. Good. So with this reduction kit, it is made as sort of a serial product. So hopefully you'll keep getting smaller and it will need adjusting. So everyone decreases in their amount of lymphedema at different rates. So at the beginning, when patients get the reduction kit on, it's, it's very likely that that kit may need to be adjusted by their CLT once a week or once every other week, depending on how quickly their edema starts to reduce. And then as they start to slow down and plateau with edema reduction, very likely it can be spread out longer. So for any of our CLTs who are listening, what are some tips you have for getting the best fit for their patients? Ah, well, if we're talking to our CLTs out there, that means that they all have gone to a, a lymphedema course and they have spent hours and hours in figuring out how to use multi-layer bandages and foams and chip bags and fluff and all different things. You know, my, my fellow CLTs out there are, are about as creative as you can get. And what's really exciting with the, with the CircAid product is it's taking all of those skills and applying it just to, to a new product, to the reduction kit. What's most important is that we can size the product for the patient, which is very easy. And then knowing how to get a snug fit and all those unique shapes and sizes with our lymphedema patients will certainly give them the best outcome. How often should the CLT recommend that the garments are replaced? Because I know they're machine washable and they will be used day and night. So do they wear out quicker than a traditional compression garment or is the life kind of the same? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a great question as well, Betty, because we want to make sure we're providing a product, you know, for the patient that can get them through the different stages of managing lymphedema. And when we're talking about the reduction kit, we're really focusing on the decongestion stage. So the time when the patient and the therapist are looking to reduce the patient to get the edema down. So the reduction kit for almost every single patient will certainly get them through their reduction phase when they're going to therapy. A typical CircAid product, a maintenance product, which is utilized on patients with, who aren't reducing, is certainly going to last six months. But what I'm going to say for the production kit is this product is not going to last six months because we built more flexibility in it so that it can adjust to the patient and be modified and changes. So we had to sacrifice some on the life of the garment so it could be more adept at fitting multiple patients, but also being a serial product the entire time where you can start at a very large limb and keep cutting it further and further down to be able to manage the patient. So certainly the reduction kit very likely will always get them through that decongestion stage as they're working with the therapist but what's so unique about it as well is that it could probably continue to work for them after their therapy visits have run out. In this day and age, therapy visits for lymphedema are being more and more restricted and CLTs or lymphedema therapists sometimes can't get to the outcome or the plateau that they might be able to if they had more visits. So what's nice about the reduction kit is because we've given a new tool for the patients to be more independent and they can start to manage this on their own, it's very likely, I don't want to say we want to set them free, 
but we can sort of space out their appointments maybe a little bit longer or have them come check back in in a couple weeks. And they continue to have some reduction to get to that end point where they want to be by utilizing the reduction kit before they get measured and fit with their maintenance part of product to be able to manage their condition. Yeah, I've definitely experienced in the clinic limited visits and a patient who needs, you know, an extended amount of time in therapy. And this garment particularly is very helpful for extending the life of those visits so that the patient and say a family member can come in and learn how to adjust it, learn how to fit the product, um, you not fit, but you know, apply the product so that it's in the right placement is how I mean by fit. Um, and then come back in a week or two and we can do some measurements, we can do some skin checks and then we adjust the garments fit as needed because they've been making progress on their own. Um, but definitely the garment is so helpful and just along with the CLT and the family member and the patient working together, it really has kind of changed the game for that long-term care you're needing with your patients. So I'm a fan of this product. And I know that it's really helped a whole lot of my patients in the clinic. Yeah, I mean, I mean that is phenomenal. And certainly thank you for that testimonial. I, cer I certainly always love to hear, you know, success stories. And, you know, with everything that's changing with healthcare and visits like you were talking about, it is hitting a lot of these chronic conditions. Um, it's making it even more challenging for patients to be as independent and able to manage their disease. What's most important as a lymphedema therapist or even myself doing education with a compression company is that we can give tools to the patient so that so the patient and maybe their caregiver or their family can learn to manage on their own because where healthcare is going these days, they just can't be dependent on, on healthcare providers or the lymphedema therapy clinic just because these services just aren't paid for as they were in the past. Like when I began treating lymphedema, Many years ago, we saw patients every day for a couple months. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen any longer. So exactly like you said, if we can empower the patients and their families to learn how to independent manage, manage this condition as best as possible, I think everybody wins. Thanks, Christopher, for joining me today. And thank you to everyone for listening as well. If you want to learn more about the reduction kit from MediUSA, Follow me on Instagram at Lymphedema Podcast for an unboxing of the leg reduction kit later this month. I'm going to take time to show you just how easy it is to wear it yourself. Your CLT is going to help you get it ordered and fitted, and then you can put it on yourself. Your family can be there to help, but you guys, this thing is so easy and so helpful. I know you're going to love it. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. Again, that's Lymphedema Podcast. And Chris, thanks again for being here today. Great. Thank you so much, Betty. I'm glad that we could share this message. Mother Teresa says, loneliness and the feeling of being unwanted is the most terrible poverty. This podcast is here for you to find friendship and a community for your journey with lymphedema. I hope you enjoyed learning more today about MediUSA's Reduction Kit. Email me with your story if you would like to share, lymphedemapodcast at gmail.com, or visit the website lymphedemapodcast.com to submit a topic for another episode.